Okay, I'm at 2321 Beach. I have not stepped inside yet. Just give you just a quick little panoramic of the area. It's not a quiet, I mean, it's not a busy street. I've only been here for a few minutes, but no cars have come down. You have an old house here. You can see it's still on a crawl space. You know? So that's the way they used to build them. So it tells me right there, it's probably from the 40s or earlier. I think in the 50s or 60s, they started putting them on a slab like this house. No trees hanging over the house. House looks like it's up pretty high, high and dry. So I don't think it's any type of flood issues. I left the sheet in the car, so I don't have the stats in front of me. But let's do a quick preview. Uh, AC is working great. It's nice and chilly in here. Room size, hmm, 10 by 10 maybe. Does have kind of the taller, tall ceiling, the ceiling fan. So, I mean, this house is only four years old, so I don't think there's going to be any real issues with the condition of it. Uh, it does have the energy efficiency um, toilet. So you have your second room here. Ceiling fans, tall ceilings. It's all neutral colors, has blinds. You have tile and you have carpet with uh, the ceramic tile in the common areas. So this is probably a formal living room. It does have uh, can lights to it. But this might be a formal area. I mean, this is this is the best part right here, obviously, of the house. This is where you would lounge around, put the TV, and have a family room to the back. It has that pretty tall ceilings. Kitchen looks nice. Has the backsplash and granite. Nice cabinets. I would think this house won't last long, but I'm just I'm just speculating here. I haven't looked at the comps. Fridge is probably new or brand or, or newish. Has the uh, soft closed drawers, uh, stainless steel appliances, electric. Uh, it's electric, not gas. So through here you have laundry room. So thermostat is set at 72. I believe it. It's chilly. Your master bedroom is here. Once again, has kind of the vaulted ceilings. Um, you could put the bed right there in the middle, and then it has. Outlet for TV if you want TV in the in the master, but you can fit a king in here. No problem bathroom Give you double sink matching cabinets to the to the master or to the uh, kitchen it Does have these lights Pretty good size closet Because it's not a big house. They still didn't give you like the traditional big master bathroom that they have in modern homes just because of the size of the house and the size of the lot. But everything's upgraded nicely. Everything matches. It's all neutral colors. Another energy efficiency of toilet. So what's this? this is a three bedroom, two bath with uh, granite. Tile and then carpet in, in the bedrooms. Backyard, let's see. It's a really nice door. I mean, it's, it's kind of a hard to open. Hard, not hard like it's sticking, but it means it's thick. It's, it's probably an impact window. It does have, you can see these little, uh, these little dots here, not dots, but um, pegs. Um, it's made for shutters. So you do have storm shutters that you can put on for all the windows. I don't see it for the door, but it's probably because it has that impact door, but it does have it for the windows. So your backyard, it's, this is obviously not a wide lot, it's kind of a, you don't have much more room than the house itself, so you couldn't really put anything behind here, like a, like, like a storage, you couldn't put a, a boat or a shed or anything because 
You only have about four feet. But it is a decent backyard. I mean, um, I can't hear any traffic or anything like that. Of course, your roof is only four years old. That roof actually looks pretty good over there. That's like a metal roof right here. So neighbors obviously overgrown in the back. But someone's living there. You hear the AC blowing. And like I said, this house sits up pretty high. You have telephone line here in the back. Let's take a quick peek on this side of the house. AC. I've seen some neighborhoods where the AC is like chained down, like there's a cage over the AC so it doesn't get stolen. So that's positive that I don't see that. Um, this one's also, you see on the crawl space, that's just the way they built them. But this one, all the way to the ground, this is a, on a concrete, this is a slab and it's the way they build them now. So you can definitely, this house will insure well. I thought this house had a garage, am I mistaken? Um, you see blinds throughout. I thought I saw a garage, but I must be mistaken. Because I don't know how you get in. No, no garage. So it's just a driveway. So. And then there's no trees hanging over the house either. So, well, you have a one branch right there. That's about it. You have the water valve for the house right here. But this place is very, very close to downtown Tampa, no question. Um, so it has that proximity to it. Like I said, this is probably a neighborhood from the 30s or 40s or 50s, and this is just a tear down and they put up a new house in its place. All right, this completes my video for Beach.